Hey, what is up everybody? It is Mr. Boylan. Today, what in the heck are we gonna do in this video? We are going to explain the process of oxidation and reduction in a chemical reaction. All right, breaking it down a little bit, there is a lot to oxidation and reduction. In this particular video, we are going to first explain the purpose of the reduction potential chart. Numero dos, we are going to use that reduction potential chart to determine which species is more likely to be oxidized or reduced. So as we work through this video, don't forget our good friend Leo. Okay, so first it turns out that the absolute tendency that a substance will gain or lose electrons cannot be measured but we can measure it relative to whether another substance will gain or lose electrons. As we come back to this thrilling reaction and we think about why is oxygen gaining electrons and why is iron losing electrons? Or as you think about, is iron gonna be more or less likely to lose electrons than other things? Or is oxygen gonna be more or less likely to gain electrons than other things? Now, for ease, we're just gonna focus on the relative tendency for a substance to lose electrons electrons or be reduced. And the half reaction that we're gonna use for comparison is the reduction of the hydrogen ion to hydrogen gas under standard conditions, which we assign a potential difference of zero volts. So that's our starting point for comparison. And then we just make a list. How do things compare to the reduction potential of hydrogen ion to make hydrogen gas to make a reduction potential chart. Okay, so let's time this out and take a look at a reduction potential chart. And you've got this beauty of a chart in your notes. It's important that you take a moment, time out, pause the video, and just sort of look at this chart. Ooh, it's so mesmerizing. Some important things to make note of. First, notice that smack dab in the middle, we have our hydrogen ion reduction with a standard reduction potential of zero volts. Again, that's our basis for comparison. Everything else and their ability to gain electrons is gonna be compared to how easy it is for the hydrogen ion to gain electrons. So the more positive the reduction potential is, and we're gonna use this little E sub reduction symbol, the more likely that substance will be reduced or gain electrons and less likely that it will be oxidized or lose electrons. So as you carefully study your reduction potential chart, notice that all of these things above hydrogen are more likely to be reduced. The reduction potential, so much potential in life. The reduction potential gets larger. So these things like fluorine, hydrogen peroxide, are things that are gonna be really likely to gain electrons. They're gonna be really likely to be reduced. They have really high reduction potentials. The more negative the reduction potential, on the other hand, the less likely that substance will be reduced. Less likely it will gain electrons and the more likely it will be oxidized. So now we're gonna take a little stroll down the bottom portion of this chart and notice our reduction potentials become negative. What that tells me is these things are less and less likely to gain electrons. Notice we can tell that because their reduction potential, their potential to gain electrons, their potential to be reduced gets more and more negative. So it's like saying, yo, lithium, you have like no potential in life to be reduced. Fluorine, you have so much potential. And then it's also important to note that switching the sign of the reduction potential will give you the oxidation potential or this E sub oxidation for that substance. So that's important. Even though we're often gonna be given the standard reduction potentials, it also tells you the potential for a substance to be oxidized. Okay, so let's think about what that means. As I look at this reduction half reaction for the lithium ion, its reduction potential is three, negative 3.04 volts. This very negative value tells me that this is 
probably not gonna happen. The lithium ion isn't gonna readily gain electrons. But if I reverse this reaction, I'm gonna reverse the sign of my reduction potential. And notice now it's a very positive value, indicating that the oxidation of sol lithium to lithium ion has a lot of potential. It's very likely to happen. So as you're working with the reduction potential list, keep in mind that if you reverse that half reaction to get the oxidation half reaction, you're also gonna reverse the sign of your reduction potential to get your oxidation potential. Okay, and then the last thing just to keep in mind as you think about the reduction potential chart, just remember that in a redox reaction, electrons will flow from the substance that is being oxidized or losing electrons to the substance that is being reduced or gaining electrons. All right, and that finishes us off for this video on the reduction potential chart. Check out the references beneath the video so you can see where I pulled that reduction potential chart from. Woo! And we're done.